Right, so I want to talk about my hopes for movies. I was talking to uh, my boss today and he's he goes to see these films because of his partner and stuff, the hero movies and stuff. And I don't I don't know what you know, he enjoyed Aquaman and stuff, but I, I think in a in a way he prefers Marvel and I really don't get it anyway. But he's 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 getting bored with it. He's he's getting bored of the the hero franchise. And um and once I walked away I, I stood and listened, you know, I stood and thought, Well, this is the thing. With DC uh, right now, there isn't one movie that is similar to the other. We had Man of Steel, BVS, and uh, Suicide Squad, and Justice League. Every one of those had a certain different type of tone. Uh, so, and then right now, you know, we, we had Aquaman. It was a kind of light tone. Um, no, it was a light tone. And then there's Shazam coming, and we all wait to see what what are they going to do? What are they going to do with the universe? Uh, have they stopped being uh, you know these dark movies? Because we need diversity. We need to make sure that when you go in, well, this is only as I say, this is my truth. When you go in to see a DC movie, you shouldn't. For me, for, you should go in and be surprised. I I don't think every film should follow suit. I mean, we all know that uh, when Matt Reeves finally gives us the the Batman movie or something, it'll be different. But again, it's going to be it, it may just be as similar to the other Batman movies. When we have Sazam, that may sort of be in the same tone as Aquaman. So we really need diversity, otherwise people will um, people will get bored with it. People will get bored with the hero franchise. There's, there's already talks about, um, you know, people. I've heard people talk about the lack of interest in Captain Marvel. I've heard maybe they're getting fed up with the sexism and stuff like that, you know. Uh, you know, I've heard people talk about where's where's Marvel going to go next after this big major movie because that's the end of the story. Um, and I, I wouldn't want people to get bored, but I can understand if they do get bored with the hero franchise, especially if they all feel the same. So we really do cross our fingers, hope that DC because of Aquaman's success, doesn't just stay the same way. That and the and Warner Brothers doesn't get involved and try to make every film similar to Aquaman. Let's hope that they've learned the lesson uh, and that we have a mixture of tones, um, like we do in DC Titans. Right, what which I've seen is a totally different tone than Flash or anything. We need that diversity when we go in to see a movie. If we get a a cyborg movie, you know, it's it's got to be maybe a scientific one, sci-fi one, robots and everything else. And because he's half human, there has to be a wee bit of depression in there. You know, that we got in Justice League. If we do a, uh, what else, if we do a, a, a Green Martian movie or a Green Lantern movie, um, yeah, it's it's got to be in space, but it's got to be something that we haven't seen it. It can't, ref it can't be anything close to Guardians of the Galaxy. So let me know about your thoughts and ideas about diversity and how important it is. And for me, I, I do believe that we need uh, directors to have their own stamp on their movies. And if all the directors have the stamp on the movies, that will make every DC film different and make it interesting to go and see um, how it all folds out. 
so nobody gets bored with the same mall. It's another superhero movie. There's the jokes. There's the hero. Hero. Yada yada yada. So, let's know what you think. This is Mastrus, DC Vigilante. Out.